evaluation of our problem. Now, after choosing our research problem, and before we conduct our other steps of research, here we need to make a pause to evaluate the credibility, feasibility, and also appropriateness of this research problem we have chosen, or this research difficulty, or obstacle, or question we need to answer. Clear? So, this requires for us to check certain features or characteristics that should exist in our problem to be considered really uh, credible and appropriate research or a problem uh, we can rely on right and uh, depend on uh, in our study or in our research and we can say that a problem is credible or appropriate for research if it is characterized by the following features number one a problem should be significant right it means what it must have a contribution to the field of study huh? should have a positive impact on the field we are studying it means what this impact is practical impact huh? Uh, through the application of the results or conceptual right also impact where uh, this problem will fill in a gap right within uh, the scope of knowledge of that field right it must add I don't know a contribution right to this investigative area of study number two also problem should be timely timely does mean to relate to the current needs of the field and up to date all right and also to be relevant to the present issues all right which are now discussed which are now studied all right in the academia all right here of course we need to consult maybe uh, uh, recent journals or reviews all right to see all right whether our problem uh, really keeps up uh, with what is going on uh, now at present with what is discussed in the field of academia and in the field of uh, scientific research studies right also a problem should be novel we must check its novelty does mean a problem should be original, all right, and unique problem that addresses a gap in our knowledge or application also. Of course, here, when we review literature, uh, we see and we check if it has already uh, been discussed or not, been addressed or not, all right. So when we bring something uh, n n that is novel, all right, uh, a problem that is novel here we mean a problem right that is not uh, I've overdone okay, that is not fully covered with uh, or in earlier studies and from all its angles right it must be original and unique huh? it, it has a concrete uh, if you can say touch something to add also clear uh, also a problem needs to be specific and clear not vague why specific to set the direction of the study right to guide us right which uh, research course which search design should we right we should follow all right and determine also the research uh, method and design we need to adopt all right in our uh, research process in our investigation so the problem as we know is the first step and everything after it is based on it depends on it that's why we have to be very careful about these features and uh, their existence in our problem before we embark on a research with uh, a vague problem that will cause for us a problem okay or, or a difficulty when we reach certain stage or steps then we may even stop our research and start from scratch right also 
a problem needs to be researchable. Huh? It means feasible. All right. Here it can be addressed, uh, solved, I mean, uh, and solved uh, through the scientific methods. All right. Methods. Feasibility of the problem uh, first, clear, should be investigated. All right. That this problem is suitable to be uh, studied, investigated using uh, the common and the scientific uh, methodical approaches, instruments, tools, okay, and to follow the uh, well known and the common academic steps and the stages. All right. This is what we call researchable. All right. That suits uh, the uh, methodical and the scientific uh, course of research. And it's also requirements. Right. Also, uh, this problem should be supported by literature. It means to be relevant to the field uh, and represents a kind of continuation of the current studies. Clear? It means it's a part of what is now discussed. Right. Literature about that field. Not something totally out of subject. It is grounded, right, grounded by uh, the uh, relevant modern researchers too. Thank you so much. The evaluation of the problem, dear students, is so important that it is emphasized by many educators and scholars who call for uh, the evaluation of the problem's appropriateness and credibility. All right, All right. Uh, before we uh, adopt this prob problem in our research and we carry on with the other uh, research uh, steps. Right. Among these scholars, we have Singh. Singh also emphasized the evaluation of uh, a problem, All right? Uh, in order to check its appropriateness through asking a set of questions. So these questions will clarify to the researcher whether his problem is worth really studying and investigating or not. Now, these questions are as follows. First, do the data exist upon which a solution may be based, it means, are data available for the researcher, right, uh, if he wants uh, to tackle this problem in particular, will he find them or not? Also, is the problem significant? Does it have any uh, concrete contribution to the field right, of study is an important principle involved here behind this uh, problem and its choice would the solution make any difference right, after studying right, uh, this problem also is the problem a new one here, of course, we seek to check the uh, originality and novelty of the problem. It means, even the answer, is the answer already available or not? Yet, in fact, in fact uh, the fact that a problem has been investigated in the past uh, researchers does not mean that it is no longer worthy for study. All right, the researcher may uh, highlight may shed light on other uh, corners, other angles which are not uh, well investigated, or he can investigate them, right, using other political paradigms, right, other political paradigms uh, to achieve his objectives. Also, is the problem feasible? Is this problem, I'm going to embark on my investigation, feasible or not? Right. Searchable, it means, uh, can it uh, be subject to uh, those uh, scientific uh, and methodical uh, procedures, okay, uh, 
uh, of methodology of research or not? Tools of research, uh, tools of data collection, tools of, uh, I don't know, assessment of uh, my, I don't know, testing my hypothesis, and all these tools. All right. Are they credible here? Feasible? All right. In regards to this, to this problem I have chosen or not? Also, is the problem suitable for a particular researcher? Here we check also the researchers, we can say level, ability, readiness, all right, to tackle, to uh, deal with this uh, research, all right, also this problem. Huh? Sometimes the level of researcher does not allow him to handle, for example, a very complex, all right, and multidisciplinary uh, problem in his research. So here, we need to check, first, uh, his necessary competence to plan mainly and to carry out uh, this type of study. Maybe he can handle uh, descriptive research, right, with its uh, problem, but he can't handle experimental one, right. We need to check this in advance, right, with the uh, choice of the problem before he continues with the other uh, steps and uh, reaches, for example, a, 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 a closed end. Also, are uh, pertinent, also we check, we check whether uh, the data are pertinent, accessible, and also whether the gathering uh, devices and procedures available or not. For this researcher, also uh, the researcher may inquire also uh, and uh, do now uh, check if he really uh, will he will he uh, have the necessary financial also resources to carry out or to carry on uh, the study or research or not? Does he have that financial support that can sustain? his studies, right, and his uh, research and investigation throughout the research process, which requires also time and effort and money and energy or not? Will he have uh, enough time also to complete the project? He also should consider the challenge of time. For example, if he is a master's student or do doctoral student, he needs to take into account also the uh, time allocated for him to accomplish his research. Right. Respect the limits or the temporal limits uh, given to him, set to him. Also, will he have uh, the courage and determination to pursue the study in spite of the difficulties and hazards that uh, may be uh, involved all right, or encountered uh, throughout the course of research or not? Does he have the resolution, if you can say, uh, the will, right, the, the, the motivation, right, the, uh, the, no, the uh, stamina, the energy, or not? All these questions should be raised by the researcher after uh, choosing his problem to check whether this problem is really appropriate uh, to conduct research on its basis or not. Before he continues and he carries on with the other research, of course, uh, steps in the research process. Thanks.